Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on the block, still see the boy them lurking. Hi there guys, Adam from The Beard Solution here, back with another video. And this is a how-to video to help you guys make your own L-cartidine L-tartrate mixture into minoxidil at a 2% concentration to replicate what they found in studies, basically, that it could help with hair growth. Uh, so I am going to put a link in the description to that video where I took all about l carcinin and L-tartrate, and then you can decide whether you want to come back here and make some for yourself, uh, but I'll be showing you the really simple, easy method to do so, um, but I know people are going to ask me, so I'll show them anyway, and you can decide whether it's something you want to do. So without further ado, let's get into making your l carcinin 2% mixture with 5% minoxidil. First things first, you're going to need some liquid minoxidil, and I just happen to have a bottle of 5% Kirkland lying around, but you can literally use any brand, it really doesn't matter. And some L-cartanine, L-tartrate powder that I bought from Peak Supplements, but you can literally buy any brand, just make sure that it is pure L-cartanine, L-tartrate. Now you're going to need about 1.2 grams into the 60 milliliter solution of minoxidil. So I'm using a quarter teaspoon in my measuring spoons here because that's the closest I could find to the 1.2 grams. So I'm not being overly accurate, I'm just making sure I can get as close to it as possible and it should still dissolve and still give me the desired result. So I've opened the bottle of minoxidil now and I'm going to open the bag of L-cartanine L-tartrate powder. There it is, looks a little bit like cocaine. Uh, and then taking the spoon, I am literally just going to scoop out a quarter of a teaspoon of the L-cartanine L-tartrate powder. And then once I've managed to do it, which has taken me far longer than it should, I'm going to pop it directly into the bottle of liquid minoxidil. So these spoons do tend to drop everything out in one big lump. So I had to be careful not to spill it out on the table. And there you have it. It's in the bottle now. And all I need to do is reapply the lid and use some good old wrist action to get it all shaken up. And my teenage years are definitely helping me here. Look at that speed and that fluidity in that wrist movement. So shaking it all up. There you have it. It's all dissolved nice into the liquid and you just apply as usual. Nice. So there you have it guys, it's as simple as that. Now I'm not trying to patronise anyone, I know that is a very simple way of mixing it together, um, but I know also that I'm going to get quite a lot of questions from guys who are just concerned that they might not do it correctly, so that's why I've put this video together. If you did like it, please do hit the like button, uh, and please do feel free to subscribe as well if you want to keep up to date with my videos, and let me know whether you found this video helpful as well. If you still don't know about l cartidine L-Tartrate, I do really recommend that you go and watch that video that I made on it and its potential applications for hair growth. Uh, what I will say, smells a little bit fishy, so you might want to add a couple of drops of uh, peppermint or some other essential oil uh, that might give it a bit of scent, but I'm just going to let it be a bit fishy, I think. Um, let me know in the comments as well if you're going to join me in this little experiment, if you're going to be trying it out as well. Uh, and I'll see you guys again next time. You don't rate me because I ain't got a blue tick, but I got one on the top that gave me. I don't even know what's real.